on Lagos Television. She plays, organized by Asisat Oshuala Academy, continued in Lagos as a community outreach program held during the week saw selected students participate in the training and mentorship sessions aimed to empower participants through sports. The initiative emphasizes the importance of education to the development of a girl child, increased attention on their needs and addresses the challenges of adolescence. The whole essence of it is like the name says she, the S is for sports, the H is for humanitarian and the E is for education. Now the whole idea is to be able to go back into the various communities to engage young people, especially young girls, on the importance of sports and then education. And under the education, one of the things they're looking at is life skills. And we all know that this is very key. The one-day event held at the Nathaniel Udo Pitch at Yegule provided schoolgirls with the opportunity to experience different sports, including table tennis. Participants were introduced to basic life support and procedures to be put in place as first responder, while the mentorship class provided them the opportunity to learn life skills needed for them to attain their full potential. Head coach, Nigeria Table Tennis Federation, Nasiru Belu, was on hand to introduce the girls to the sport, stated that the initiative will promote grassroots development and encourage mass participation. Giving them equipment, encouraging them, so the whole sport, men and women, who have read their peak, who are still competing, if they can come in and adopt system like I know body, and uh, we we'll show Allah this way, it will help Nigeria. It will help the youth ones that are coming so that they will not be running around the street. It will encourage them very well. So we like, as they are doing now, as uh, Allah is doing now, is the football is there, is also adopting this table tennis. Through She Play, the Azizat Oshuala Academy helps to provide more access to sports and education for marginalized girls and train teenagers on how to thrive in various fields. Even communities coming on board to make sure that this exercise is sustained. If you have other partners, either corporate or communities coming in, buying in into this project and taking it up as their own, I'm sure we'll be able to reach more young girls down as is that is already reaching now. And then it will be a thing of pride in future to see that a project that started, you know, so small has become a community-owned project. The beneficiaries, who are huge admirers of a football star, commended the Super Falcons and FC Barcelona forward player Azizat Ushola for giving back to the society. I've experienced the table tennis and a really sport, good sports game for me. Though. I'm just a learner, but I'm getting it time to time from that. I'll be a professional. Super has taught me a lot, taught me discipline. Being focused in everything I do, even in my academics, has taught me a lot. He taught me how to be focused in the right stuff on life. I'd like to say thank you to Ochola Azizat for this opportunity she has given us so that we can learn and improve more in our system. An eye opener that somebody that plays sports will never go to school, will not learn. But now, we are making them to know that a football, you can actually combine football and education. And with that, it goes a long way. I'm a perfect example of that our very stuff. I actually studied alongside my football career. And today, this is where I am. And people like this, like this student, we are catching them young to give them this experience. For those that doesn't know that, they can actually combine education and, and sports. Now in its third edition, the All Income Person Intervention Program, supported by Global Sportswears, Nike and Women Win, targeted young girls from various communities and students who have little or no access to sports. There's something I like about um, individuals who go out of their comfort zones to give back to society. You know what the holy book says, give us, they never lack. That is fact only. What does sport do to you? When you do sport, nobody will ask you, are you a Lagosian? Are you an Igbo man? Are you an Aussie man? Are you from Edo State? No. That sports is a unifying factor that no government job fit. Well done, Aziza Oshuala. She didn't ask them if they are from Ikurudu 
called Badagri. I saw Igbo names there. I saw some, you know, uh, Edo names there. All of them playing sport through our foundation. The Aziz Aloshola Foundation for the Girl Child. Not just about football, resort table tennis, and so much more. Sports and education can go pari So once again, thank you, our own, the best African woman, someone said, the best woman footballer on planet Earth. I think it was time that I said that yesterday on the show. She's doing great things. She's in a camp in Turkey with the Super Falcons of Nigeria. And at about 3 p.m. today, the Nigerian team will be taking on their Asian counterpart, getting ready for the World Cup that starts on the 20th of July, 2023. Once again, thank you, a wonderful lady from FC Robo to the world. I welcome Tayo Daramola to the show right now. If you don't know him, he is to my far right. Tayo, good morning. Welcome to the show. Yeah, good morning. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And like I said yesterday, I think uh, best player in the world, I didn't quite... I said, uh, I think I'm quite confident, the best striker in the world. Best 